Hello, how are you guys? Thank you for joining me today. We are gonna hop right into today's video. We're already at the thrift store. We're also gonna be visiting a couple of antique malls and we are on the hunt for a few items to help begin building our vintage Christmas aesthetic. So this is a vintage inspired Christmas decoration hunt that I am on. And today I'm mostly gonna be focusing on brass items, vintage ornaments, and linens. So be sure to hang out with me to the end to see what I was able to find. These adorable handkerchiefs were so irresistible, but I did not get one. That Santa one especially really almost got me, but I decided I did not need that today, so I put it back. But aren't these just so beautiful? And I really feel like handkerchiefs are very timeless and can always be of use. Very shortly after I saw those handkerchiefs, I found all of these ornaments. So as you guys remember, vintage ornaments was on my list. So it was very necessary for me to rein it in, calm down and not go overboard because that can happen in a thrift store or antique mall, really any store. Sometimes you just get overstimulated and you get prompted to buy, buy, buy. So remembering what you came there for and really having a nice selective lens of what really speaks to you the most and what you are really looking for or the vibe you're really going for and keeping that in mind can help you rein it in. This vendor at the antique mall definitely had it going on in the vintage Christmas decor department. I didn't get anything from their table, but some of it was just absolutely adorable and very, very much so fitting that vintage Christmas feel. I don't know what it is about the felt ornaments, but it is so hard to not grab each and every one. I mean, look at this little guy. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen, but I passed on all of those because I just couldn't make a decision. So I decided to not get any of the felt ornaments this time around. One of my favorite things about antique malls and thrift stores is you're gonna find some unique pieces sometimes like that. And I have to be super selective about the things I bring into my home because I live in a small space, but seeing that footage again makes me kind of want to go back and get it, but I'm gonna be good and not. <laughs> All right, you guys, comment down below if you have glassware like this or dishware like this. I think it is so 
beautiful and special and I would love to know if you guys have any or if you actually use it and bring it out during the holiday times. I'm just curious. Speaking of dishes, look how beautiful these cups are. They almost look like you could use them for soup, but you can absolutely use them for some hot chocolate. These glasses are perfectly mid-century modern, which is a style I love and I always see out at antique malls. So be sure to check out your antique malls, you guys, because you may find some beautiful pieces just like this. To me, the brass candlesticks really do just bring on such an elegant yet vintage vibe. And take a look at this with the green and red candle, so cute. And let's end our shopping trip with the real reason for the season. And next, I'm going to share with you guys what I came home with. We were able to come home with brass, ornaments, as well as linens from this trip. So far, a success. I'm not done with my hunt. I probably want a couple more vintage items, so I'll be sure to share that with you guys and make sure you subscribe. I've got some movie-inspired Christmas decoration videos coming out soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you next time.